Hi there students, welcome back to another video lesson. So for this week 8 of grade 8 mathematics quarter 1, we will be discussing about systems of linear equations in two variables. So sa mga previous video lesson ko, so yung involved lang po na equation is isa. So kapag systems of linear equations in two variables po kasi, it may involve two or more equations. So since grade 8 pa lang po kayo, ang involved lang na equations dito is dalawa. So, meron po kasing tatlo, apat, and so on. So, let's start. So, for our lesson objectives, we will illustrate a system of linear equations in two variables. And of course, we will determine if a particular ordered pair makes the system linear equations true. So, let's review linear equations. So, a linear equation is a first-degree equation that can be written in the form of ax plus by is equal to c, where a, b, and c are real numbers, but a and b cannot be both zero. So, kapag linear equation po ang pinag-uusapan po natin, first-degree equation, ibig sabihin ang pinakamataas na degree ng mga variable natin dito is 1. So, kapag uh, hindi po 1 yung degree, we cannot classify the given equation as linear equation. And then, again, A and B should not be zero. Okay? So, let's have systems of linear equations in two variables. Linear equations like x plus 3y is equal to negative 8 and 2x minus 5y equals 17 are called simultaneous linear equations for the system of linear equations if we want them to be true for the same pairs of numbers. So, kapag sinabi natin simultaneous, magkasabay. Okay. And then, paano siya naging system of linear equation? So, we're in, meron po ditong particular uh, ordered pair or pair of numbers na kung saan both na sinasatisfy niya yung given equations. So, kapag sinabstitute natin yung x and y dun sa x plus 3y is equal to negative 8 na first equation, Masasabi natin na system of linear equations kapag sinatisfy din niya yung 2x minus 5y is equal to 17. So, hindi lang po tapot dun sa first equation sinasatisfy yung given pairs of numbers. Kailangan dun din po sa second equation. So, let's have examples of systems of linear equations in two variables. So, in first example natin, 3x minus 7y is equal to 1 and 2x plus 8y is equal to 9. As you can see, linear equations po sila pareho. It's because first degree equation, ang pinakamatas na degree nila is 1. Another, we also have 2y minus 9x equals 6 and y is equal to negative 5x plus 3. So, in first equation natin, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi po siya nakasulat sa standard form na ax plus by is equal to c. So, pero, considered po siya as linear equation. Same with the second equation. So, the second equation is written in slope-intercept form. So, kahit na nakaslope-intercept form po siya, considered pa rin po siya as linear equation. So, yung dalawang equation na to, masasabi po natin na system sila ng linear equations in two variables. So, let's have solution of system of linear equations in two variables. The solution set of a system of linear equations in two variables is the set of all ordered pairs of real numbers which makes the equations true. So, again, para maging system of linear equations in two variables po, kailangan isatisfy ng particular pair of numbers or ordered pair yung dalawang equations. Kapag... Uh, true siya dun sa first equation at hindi siya naging true dun sa second equation, hindi po natin pwedeng sabihin na system of linear equations po yun. Kailangan both true dun sa equations. So, let's have the activity. Determine if the given set of ordered pairs is solution of every equations of the system. So, para mas maintindihan yung solution set na sinasabi ko kanina, so let's have the activity. So, let's have example number 1. Show that 1, negative 3 satisfies the system of equations x plus 3y is equal to negative 8 and 2x minus 5y is equal to 17. 
So, yung 1, negative 3, isasubstitute lang po natin sa dalawang equation na given. So, system of equations. So, let's have x plus 3y equals negative 8. And then, the value of x is 1 plus 3 times the value of y, that is negative 3, equals negative 8. Next, 1 plus 3 times negative 3, that is negative 9, equals negative 8. So, if we add 1 and negative 9, that is negative 8. It's because we follow the sign of the bigger value, 9, and then we subtract. So, 9 minus 1, that is 8, equals negative 8. So, true po siya dito. So, next, the second equation, 2x minus 5y is equal to 17. So, 2 times the value of x, again, 1, minus 5 times the value of y, negative 3 equals 17. So, 2 times 1, that is 2, and the negative 5 times negative 3, that is positive 15, equals 17. So, if we add 2 and 15, that is 17, equals 17. So, upon substituting 1 and negative 3 on the second equation, so, nagtrue din po siya. Therefore, we can conclude that 1, negative 3 is a solution set of the given system of equations. Next example, number 2. Is negative 2, 4 makes the system of equations x plus 3y equals negative 8 and 2x minus 5y is equal to 17 true? So, gamit ang um, previous equations natin, so, isa-substitute naman natin ngayon yung negative 2 and 4. And then, titignan natin kung magtutru ba. So, let's have x plus 3y equals negative 8. So, the value of x is negative 2 plus 3 times the value of y, that is 4, equals negative 8. And then, negative 2 plus the product of 3 and 4, that is 12, equals negative 8. So, if we add negative 2 and 12, that is positive 10. And 10 is not equal to negative 8. Why is it 10 is not equal to negative 8? Kitang-kita naman po kasi. Hindi po sila naging pareho. Kailangan po negative 8 is equal to negative 8. So, false po. So, dito pa lang po sa first equation, pwede na po natin i-conclude na negative 2 and 4 is not a solution set of the system of equations. So, pero ipapakita ko pa rin po yung uh, second equation. So, 2x minus 5y equals 17. So, 2 times the value of uh, x, negative 2, minus 5 times the value of y, 4, equals 17. So, 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4, minus 5 times 4, so, 20 equals 17. So, negative 4 minus 20, this will become negative 4 plus negative 20 equals 17. So, negative 4 plus negative 20, same sign po magiging negative 24. So, negative 24 is not equal to 17. So, false din po siya sa second equation. So, therefore, we can conclude that negative 2, 4 is not a solution set of the system of equations x plus 3y is equal to negative 8 and 2x minus 5y is equal to 17. So, kitang-kita nyo naman po, false. Then, for the last example, number 3, determine if 0, negative 1 is a solution set of the equations 2x minus 3y is equal to 3 and 5x minus 8y is equal to 8. So, substitute lang natin. 2x minus 3y is equal to 3. And then, 2 times the value of x, 0, minus 3 times the value of y, negative 1, equals 3. So, 2 times 0, that is 0. Remember, any number multiply to 0, that is 0. And then, negative 3 times negative 1, that is positive 3, equals 3. So, 0 plus 3, that is 3 equals 3. So, naging true po siya. It doesn't mean na nag-true siya sa first equation. Pwede na natin i-conclude na magiging true din siya sa second equation. So, hanggat hindi natin nasa substitute yung given ordered pair of, pair of numbers sa second equation, hindi po natin pwedeng sabihin na solution set. So, let's have the second equation. 5x minus 8y equals 8. 
So 5 times the value of x, 0, minus 8 times the value of y, negative 1, equals 8. So again, any number multiply to 0, the answer is 0. So negative 8 times negative 1, that is positive 8, equals 8. So 0 plus 8, that is 8, equals 8. So upon substituting 0, negative 1 to the second equation, naging true po siya. So we can therefore conclude 0, negative 1 is a solution set of the equations 2x minus 3y is equal to 3 and 5x minus 8y is equal to 8. So after we've discussed the illustration of systems of linear equations in two variables, at the same time, yung solution set ng linear equations in two variables. So our next lesson will be graphing the systems of linear equations in two variables. So meron na tayong na video lesson ng paggraph ng linear equations. Kaya lang doon, yung linear equation, isa lang. So isa lang po yung ating given equation. So kapag systems po, kagaya nga ng sabi ko, dalawang equations po ang involved dito. So igagraph natin yung uh, dalawang equations na yun sa isang rectangular coordinate plane. And then makikita natin yung solution set. So yun lang, maraming salamat.